It's the 21st century, and from every news outlet they trumpet about respect for human rights, the right of LGBT people to express themselves, their right to be parents. In Spain they legalized the right to bestiality. And more long and painstaking work of experts from the International Committee of Jurists and the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights resulted in a radical draft, a resolution which recommends meant that all UN countries decriminalize sexual activity of all kinds, simply put, to legalize pedophilia. So this is a fight for the rights of pedophiles, the world seems to be going ever more insane. What about the children's rights, their right to a safe childhood? According to official statistics, there are millions of missing children on the planet and more go missing every year. In Europe, 250,000 are reported missing each year, that is a child every two minutes. Statistics say 8 million children go missing each year. Just a few examples. In the video, you see children being sold at the Mexico-US border. Children are trafficked through a complex scheme that begins with recruitment in the home country smuggling to the US borders and ends when with delivering the children to the sponsor. Some sponsors are human traffickers and members of transnational criminal organizations. Some view children as commodities and assets that can be used to generate income. We are now witnessing an explosion of human trafficking. Intentionally or not, it could be argued that the US government has become an enabler in a large-scale, multi-billion dollar child trafficking operation by miscreants seeking to profit from their children's lives. Today, children will work night shifts in slaughterhouses, factories and restaurants to pay their debts to smugglers and traffickers. Children today will be sold for sex. The Biden administration is a partner in a massive child trafficking operation. Such allegations have been voiced in Congress. It is alleged that the US president's family is engaged in human trafficking around the world. And some more numbers. This year, the Biden administration lost track of about 85,000 children. These are children who arrived in the US uncompanied and undocumented and then disappeared without a trace. Any military conflict? It is, of course, a tragedy, but it is also a barbaric business from which criminal transnational companies make billions. Child pornography, illegal adoption, labor exploitation, beginning organs, forced prostitution. This was the case in Syria when refugee children disappeared from accommodation centers. According to human rights activists, in 10 years, 2,500 children disappeared from centers in the Netherlands alone. As for Ukraine, you about missing refugee children appeared in the Western media with vivid frequency. About 40 minors were lost on their way from Madrid to the Canary Islands. Later, they were claimed to have been found, but this was by word of mouth. No footage was provided. Polish human rights activist Joanna Pachwicewicz claims that children from Ukrainian orphanages are sold to Europe. Last year, in June, I got my hands on documents about the sale of a complete orphanage in a village near Mariupol. To explain, this orphanage was sold. I mean exactly 85 children from the orphanage. However, many countries do not even keep records of the children they accept well or refer to a kind of confidentiality. We know that there are 50 to 60,000 Ukrainian children missing in Ukraine who have fallen prey to pedophiles in the US and in the West. We have open borders, millions of women and children from Ukraine move to the West. Many are targeted by criminals and sex offenders. The White Angels and also Phoenix are the police forces who evacuate children from war zones. Forced removal measures are regulated by the Zelensky government. But for some reason, this was not supported by the parents who hid their children from Zelensky's care. They hid our children because of sorts of services like White Angel, Phoenix, came stealing children, of course, one way to Europe or Ukraine, says the woman. The fact that Ukraine 
Ukraine is involved in a criminal network of human trafficking is evidenced by reports that international organizations have been compiling for 10 to 20 years. In 2022, reports suggested that refugees are preyed upon by the sex industry. There are even more extensive reports on commercial sexual exploitation of children in Canada, the United States and Mexico. The fact that refugee children are involved in the child prostitution and pornography industry is no surprise. This was the case during the war in the Balkans. The conflicts in the Middle East and Africa well established child trafficking after the wars unleashed by NATO for a decade.